Everybody's got that button pusher. We are human elevators, okay? Imagine that you go and you're at a hotel and there's two elevators. All the elevators, there's 10 floors, all the elevators are on the 10th floor, okay? First elevator, you push the button, it goes 10, 9, 8, 7, regular pace, and it lands. You're fine. Second time you have that elevator, you push the button, you go 10, 9, but then all of a sudden, you go to the other elevator that has a different button. These are imaginary elevators, okay? They don't really exist, but all the elevators are under one button. But anyway, all of a sudden, you go to the other elevator, and you push the button, it goes 10, 9, and then you're one of those people that just decides that for whatever reason, you need to push that button a thousand times, because you think when you push the button a thousand times, you're going to short circuit the elevator and have it come down faster, but this time it works. But this time you go to this elevator, and it's on the sixth floor, you go to this elevator, you start hitting the button over and over and over again. All of a sudden the elevator goes 10, nine, bam, one, doors open. <laughs> and you go, nice. Now if you have that choice of elevators from now on, which elevator are you going to choose to go to? The one that goes faster because it arrives faster. That's like one of these adults or one of the, when the kid pushes your button, and he gets you upset or she gets you upset, the more he pushes you, the faster you arrive, the faster you get upset. So the child's gonna to go to that person. How many of you are in a classroom of at least two people? How many of you know that you are in charge of your classroom or you think you are in charge of your classroom, but then when you go on your lunch break and when you come back, the other teacher is almost pulling her hair out? <laughs> because either you're the teacher because either you know you're the disciplinarian and the other teacher is not, and that other person is happy because for the eight hours of the day that you're there is great, but the one hour of like lunchtime where those kids are going, three, two, one. She's going on break, man. And then all of a sudden he comes back and the whole classroom is in disarray. They know. They know how to push your butt. When you when you were in school, how many of you remember when you were in school and you're sitting there going, oh, I don't want to be the guy in high school. All of a sudden, the sub walks in. Yes. Oh. Yeah. yeah! I don't have to work anymore. Awesome, the sub. And all of a sudden, the sub, the nerve of her to have a conversation with your teacher in the morning. Oh, I talked to your teacher this morning, and she said that you guys are working on a chapter, and all of a sudden you go, that's not fair. But you're supposed to be a sub. We're supposed to be able to do nothing. Now you have your third elevator. And your third elevator is over here. In this elevator, you push the, you push the middle button. Elevator 10, 9, 8. You push that button, all of a sudden you realize that elevator is broken. You see another elevator that you didn't notice. You push the button at that elevator, 10. Push the button again, 10. 10. This one also that arrives to one, are you ever going to even bother with this? Now all of a sudden you don't care and you're about to walk over to this elevator, that elevator door opens up. And you go, what the heck just happened? How many of you are going to ever go back to that elevator when you have an option to go to this elevator or that elevator? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So which elevator are you? Are you the elevator that is in the middle that eventually when someone pushes your butt, I want to do this, 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 you still, okay, fine, we'll deal with it, and you get to your, there at your own pace. Are you the elevator all the way on that one side, where the more a child pushes your button, the faster you react? Or are you the other elevator that sits there and doesn't make a difference how much of a button gets pushed on you, you do not arrive until you are ready because you are in that power seat. Ideally, the goal would be to be that elevator because then you're in charge and you're in power. But unfortunately, sometimes we're this one, a lot of times we're that one, especially when there's outside circumstances that affect our day. Something happens in the morning before you walk into the school. Oh, how many of you had the conversation for yourself? Well, if the first person that said something to me today about this, I'm going to... Yeah, and it's not that person's fault. They just happen to be, you know, like the wrong person at the wrong time. <laughs> Think about what elevator you are, and then figure out a way how to choose not to react that way.